This is the first question. You have a curved rod. This is a collar, the mass of which is 5 kg. The collar starts at point A and it slides to point B. At A, the velocity is 5 meter per second and it moves to the right hand direction. So it moves from A down to point B. There is a spring. The spring constant is 50 Newton per meter. Now the dimensions are given. This length is 200 millimeter. This is a circular path and the radius is 200 millimeter. The natural length of the spring is is 100 millimeter. We want to find when the mass slides to point B, what is the speed? In this question, we use conservation of energy. First, we start from point A. Let's have a diagram at point A. At point A, this is 200 millimeter. This is also 200 millimeter because this is the radius. Uh, look at the look at the original diagram. This radius is 200 millimeter. Therefore, this distance is 200, which is just the radius. So, how long is the spring when the mass is at A? The spring is 200 millimeter here, 200 millimeter here. So this is a rectangle. Each side is 200 millimeter, and this is the diagonal. Therefore, the diagonal is 200 times root two. So this is the length of the spring uh, of the spring. At point A, the spring length is 200 root 2. Then the stretch is 200 root 2 minus the unstretched length, which is 100 millimeter. Look at point A. What is the total energy? The total energy should be potential energy, mgh, and kinetic energy, one half mv square, and the energy stored in the spring. So, m is 5 kilogram, g is 9.8, and height is 200 millimeter. You need to change millimeter to meter. So it is 0 0.2 meter above this level, okay? Above this level, horizontal level, above this level. That's the H. And uh, uh, let's see, this is the MGH. And one half MV square. M is uh, five, five kilogram. And V is given 5 meter per second, mv squared. And then the uh, stored energy is 1 half spring constant, which is 50, and a stretch squared. Stretch is 200 root 2 minus 100, the whole thing squared. But remember, the 200 is millimeter. I need to change it to feet.
Uh, no, no, no. I need to change it to meter. At point B, the same thing. You have potential energy, kinetic energy, and uh, the stored energy in the spring. Kinetic energy is one half mv square. M is five v square. We don't know. So you just write down v square plus one half spring constant is 50. What is the stretch? Now the stretch is, look at the original diagram. The length of the spring is from here to here is 200 and the radius is 200. So the length total is 400. But the unstretched length is 100. Therefore, go to here now. The stretch is 400 minus 100. That's in millimeter. We need to change it to meter. All right? Okay. So, we want to find, uh, we want to write down conservation of energy. The energy at A equals to energy at B. So, this is energy at A, M, G, H plus one half m v square plus one half k the stretch you see I change the stretch to uh, meter the stretch squared then this is total energy at a and the right hand side is total energy at B you see this is one half uh, m v square that's a kinetic energy you notice that there is no potential energy because our reference level is the horizontal line passing through b so no potential energy only kinetic energy and plus the spring energy the one half k k is 50 and a stretch is 0 0.4 meter minus the natural length 0.1 meter and square it so work out everything using your calculator work out everything so and rearrange the terms and I put the unknown velocity at B to the left hand side and all the given numbers on the right hand side so I can write oh, sorry yeah, okay. I'm holding the uh, camera so it's not steady. So the left hand side is one half five v square equals the right hand side is is this. I just work it out. Okay, you can use the calculator. Then equal to something blah blah blah. And uh, finally I have 2.5 v square equals 70 decimal 885396 divide by 2.5 you get v square is that much square root both sides i have v equals five decimal three something and the unit is meter per second and this is what we want to find so let me make a summary. This question to solve this is to use conservation of energy. And energy contains potential energy, kinetic energy, and the stored energy in the spring. So that's for the first problem. Later on, I will do the second problem. So, goodbye for now.